Hi everybody, thanks so much for joining me for another episode of Garrett's Food. Today we're going to be making these delicious red velvet cream cheese love bites. So come on, let's get cooking. busy making these delicious red velvet love bites. Mm. I've got my red velvet cake mix already in the bowl of my mixer. Add in your melted butter, your two large eggs. Now just mix that on medium speed until incorporated. Here's where you are at this point after all that's been mixed in. Add in your semi-sweet morsels and your white chocolate morsels. I toast the pecans before I chop them and add them to the batter. And your toasted chopped pecans. Just gonna mix that together on low speed just to incorporate it. You don't wanna break up those chips. And that's how that should look. You know, love makes us do crazy things. I have seen with my own eyes these love bites bring people together in a fit of flurry, of frenzy, of hot, unbridled passion. That's what food does, folks. It brings people together. Of course, so does a lot of money, but um, that's on the next episode. <laughs> Just line your muffin tins with your cupcake liners. Take your scoop, scoop your batter in there, and drop it in the bottom of your liner. Like so, kind of press it down a little bit. So we've got our 20 liners filled with the red velvet batter. Now it's time to make our cream cheese topping. Now the first part of the cream cheese component is cream cheese, wow! Did you know Philadelphia cream cheese was made in New York to begin with? Talk about a misnomer. To the cream cheese, I'm gonna add two eggs and one half tablespoon of vanilla extract. The vanilla beans that they use to make vanilla extract are so hard to grow and so rare that pound for pound, they are more expensive than silver. Now you're gonna start this out on low and incorporate those eggs, vanilla, and cream cheese together. Now crank her up a bit. Now it's time to add in our four cups of confectioner sugar. Just start that back out on low. That is, unless you want to be covered in a cloud of confectioner's sugar. You see that comes together real quick lot. Scrape all the residual powdered sugar down. Got that all scraped down. Now we're just gonna beat it for about a minute on medium high. That's the consistency of it. Red velvet, red velvet. You titillate my tongue. Red velvet, red velvet, you make me feel young. Red velvet, red velvet, to my mouth, please hurry. Red velvet, red velvet, don't leave me, cause that would be scurry. You're welcome. Now it's time to scoop it on top of your red velvet base. That's how they should look. Now at this point, I'll give them a little shake here, a shimmy, if you will. Just to get that kind of, any air bubbles out. In the oven they go. Roses are red, violets are blue. Make these red velvet love bites, even if you are desperately alone. What? Mmm, these are done. I'm gonna take them out of the oven now. Just remove them from the pan and place them on a rack to cool completely. Just sprinkle them with some powdered sugar once completely cooled. You share these with someone you care about and they'll never forget your kindness. Mm. Well, we made these delicious love bites today. Red velvet and cream cheese filling intermingle in a sweet taste of ecstasy. I hope you'll make them for the people you love and try them out and say, I love you and I want you to have something delicious. 
If you'll please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and like and subscribe on Facebook and Instagram, I'd appreciate it. I love cooking for y'all and look forward to being with you again. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Mmm. I've been waiting all day for this.